So guys, the first recipe that we're gonna make is a vegan chili in a pot. Super easy, you literally just dump all the ingredients in. This right here is what you're going to need. We'll go over everything. So I chose to do one can of black beans. You'll see in a second, I also did a can of kidney beans and garbanzo beans. And you wanna just dump these all into one big pan and put your stove on like medium heat. Um, so yeah, I'm just dumping everything in there. You wanna do the beans first. I've already rinsed all the beans before I started this video to make sure everything is clean. And then I was chopping up some zucchini. This is just personally what I like. Um, this was actually too much. I ended up just using one big zucchini. Um, and you don't put any water in the pan or anything. We're literally just gonna add all the food and mix it up together. So my stove again is just on medium heat. I'm just literally dumping this stuff in. Um, you can also add corn. You could add any type of veggies that you guys like. I just know that I like this little combo since I've made this chili before and my son also really likes it. So I just chopped up the zucchini pretty small there and I literally made such a mess whenever I was putting it in the pot here, you know, because I'm five years old, so whatevs. Uh, I actually chopped up a little bit too much, so I set some of it aside for the week and then I just mix everything up together. Again, I'm just keeping it on a very low heat. This will take about 25 minutes total to cook. So I was just mixing everything up and then while it's cooking in my meal prep containers, in one of the smaller ones, I'm putting some carrots. So you guys can do whatever you want here. You could do like little pretzels, fruit. These are basically like your two little side uh, dishes. So whatever you guys wanna put, I'm just trying to keep my prep this week super healthy. So I went with green beans and carrots, just again, because I personally like those, but I'm also a big fan of fruit. If you wanna do like some granola mix, literally whatever you want on the side. That's why I really like these containers because there's so much room to kind of put a bunch of different meal options, which is cool. So I just filled those up. And then I went in with two cans of this Hunt's diced um, tomatoes. So I put those two cans in, mixed everything up there. I turned the heat up a little bit and then I put the lid on. Um, and then before that I actually did add this black pepper, garlic salt, and regular pink Himalayan salt just for taste. So it took like about 20 minutes total in the stove until it was done. And then this is the consistency that you can see here when everything is all done. The tomato paste really just like simmers and makes it more liquidy and this chili is so amazing you guys this is probably like the fifth time that i've made it it's so healthy like you're literally just eating super super clean when you have this of course it's all vegan um it kind of just looks like mush here in the containers but it's super tasty i wasn't a huge fan um i didn't think i'd be a huge fan of this before the first time i made it but i really really love it and you're totally gonna lose weight and stay fit and everything if you eat this on a consistent basis it's a super clean meal um, and I get really full. Once I have the veggies and that entire meal prep for either lunch or dinner, I'm super full. I'm not craving bad food. I don't have like the urge to go get fast food. Um, so yeah, I just filled all of those up and then that meal is actually done. So you guys can have that for lunch or for dinner. Give it to your kids, boyfriend, for work, whatever. Um, super easy. Again, I'm gonna link those meal prep containers down below because they're awesome. So for the second one, I'm doing spaghetti. You could also do bow tie pasta or whole wheat pasta, literally whatever you want. Again, I'm just taking this long string spaghetti because my son really likes it as well. Um, it's super long, it didn't fit in that pan, so I just broke it up and I'm just boiling some water. I'm gonna turn my stove on, I believe, to like level three, um, and it goes up to level 10, so a pretty low heat. I'm just boiling pasta per usual, nothing too exciting there. Again, like use whatever you want. You can find that pasta at the dollar store, so it's super cheap. And then I am just popping some frozen broccoli in the microwave because your girl is lazy as F. Uh, you can do regular broccoli as well. And then I'm just taking some red pasta sauce. So once that was all boiled, I literally just pop it in the meal prep containers, pop the broccoli and the sauce on top, and I'm done. Like I'm telling you guys, these two meals are so freaking easy. You take like 40 minutes to do this on a Sunday and you're good to go, super healthy, like you're literally done. You don't have to spend a penny on eating out. This meal is actually super tasty as well. I personally love red sauce and I really like broccoli, um, but again, you can do like zucchini noodles or any other type of vegetables that you like on top. You don't have to do this exact combo. I actually had some bow tie pasta, as you can see there, mixed in with the sauce, which was really good as well. So both those meals are just, again, super easy. I got most of the ingredients at the dollar store. Like you can't get much cheaper than that. Um, so yeah, just topping it off with the broccoli, and I can do another video on breakfast if you guys would like. Please give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments if you would like that. Uh, but once those two are done, my lunch and dinners are done for literally an entire week or maybe a little, even a little bit more. So 
super cheap. I'm going to link all of these meal prep containers down below because they're great. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I would love if you would subscribe here to my channel if you're new. I have tons of other meal prep videos if you want to search back through some of my other videos. Um, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.